So, I want to talk about Kelsey Ballerini's rolling up the welcome mat. She sort of came across my radar as an artist sometime around 2014, 2015. I was walking past Black River Entertainment off Music Row and saw one of her banners out front. She'd either had like a number one or something had come up where they were celebrating Kelsey Ballerini for probably one of the first times, if not the first time. And kind of wrote it off because it was around the same time as the Megan Trainer, all about that bass stuff. And didn't really appeal to me. She kind of fell into that pigeonhole of my mind as a Megan Trainer, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift kind of deal. And it was just not really my style of listening preferences. And I just kind of let it slide as to that. Never really thought much about it until this project came out. And I, I don't know where I found out about this new project, if it was through Instagram or something of the sort, but it was, I don't know, some sort of messaging got through to me that she had released this new project. And again, I was sort of like, yeah, 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 whatever, I get it. Gonna be the same thing, right? And not to hate on that sort of stuff, you know, Megan Trainer is totally paying her bills with, at least I think she's paying her bills with whatever it is that she's doing, and she has an audience, and she's playing to crowds, and, you know, she's, she's living her life based off of that stuff, and what's, if it's working, then you, you go with what's working, and I always got the sense that Kelsey Ballerini was in the same realm of, if it's working, you go with what's working, and that's what I thought this new project was going to be. Until I ended up reading that she wrote all of the songs on this project and also directed a short film. And I was like, oh, okay. that That's what got my attention. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sit down and actually watch it. I put it on my TV, put it on YouTube. Watch probably five, six minutes into it. Then something came up that I actually had to go and do. So I had to press pause and I was like, well, I'll come back to it. While I was gone and away from it, I found myself consistently saying, hey, go back and finish that video because it was pretty touching. And that's a really big deal for me to think about going back and actually re-watching or continuing to watch something. Because I very easily could have blown it off and be like, yeah, I watched part of it, it was fine, I'm not sticking with it anymore. But there's a real heartfelt sense, a real honest and authentic notion to what she made and said in that video that really resonated with me. I could really relate to it, and I really believe a lot of people can. I think anyone who has, I think anyone who was part of society before the pandemic happened can fully get on board with what Kelsey Ballerini at least has to say in this video. Even if you've never been through a divorce, the notion of heartbreak, the emotions behind it all, her talking about uh, buying the house that they had originally turned down and the regrets behind things that she did or didn't do in and out of the relationship is just really powerful. And I really think a lot of people can, like I said, relate to it. So, I'm really pleased to see this sort of thing coming out of Music Row right now. It's much needed. It's a breath of fresh air. Because it's been quite a while since Music Row has put out something really honest. And I think... 
I can't even remember the last thing that was really that honest coming out of the country music world. Other than maybe Haley Witters. She kind of she kind of touches on it, but she touches on it in the way of a commercial sensibility because an artist creating their art for the sake of the art and their their bleeding for their life's work is completely different than creating commercial things that people want to to enjoy and there's a line in between it there is 100 percent a compromise between my artistic integrity and what actually sells and Haley Witter seems to do it really well and this Kelsey Ballerini really seems to lean slightly more on the artistic integrity side but also pretty commercial and I'd be really interested to know what her fans and people who love Kelsey really think about it because it's not what she was doing before and it's really a a look into her inner world and that's what's so big about it and that's what our culture really needs right now is that sort of art form and so I'm excited to see how things continue moving into the future with that sort of style I'm excited to see where it all goes from here because it's definitely a a change in direction for her and hopefully a slight a slight movement of the needle as to where things are going to go so feel free to leave a comment tell me what you think about what i'm saying tell me what you think about her video and her music tell me what you think about all of these things and how it's could be changing might be changing might not be changing um and especially if you're a Kelsey Ballerini fan, let me know what you think about all of this. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Don't subscribe. I'm not insulted either way. And I'm not. It's, it's fine. But, thanks again. Have a good one.